Hi there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. Today I have an art journal page for you. I know it's been a long time since I have just played with materials and so I just grabbed out a bunch of stuff and um, put it on my desk and just started to play. I have some fun supplies from Patty Tolly Parrish, who is this artist who I met um, a couple weekends ago during the Love Summer Art event, um, that big YouTube-wide collaboration. Well, come to find out she has these beautiful stencils and stamps and she sent me some and uh, there's a little bit of the artwork that she created that I just showed you there, that ATC, she sent that with, to me too, and that's just so fun. Um, so what I'm working on is this very big sketchbook, and I've had my eye on that for a long time, and I finally ordered it on Amazon. It was about $24, but it's um, 600 pages, 300 sheets, and I love it because on the front of the pad it says 600 chances for you to improve your art and I just love that idea and I think I'm actually going to keep that big sketchbook on my coffee table so anyone can add to it. I've selected this kind of large tiley looking stencil by Patty Parrish and I'm just spraying it with a couple different of my spray inks. I have a video on how I made them super easy they work as good as store-bought and uh, super cheap to make and I'll put a link in the video description or maybe up on the screen if I'm so fancy that I you know managed to do that. Um, I decided that these little seed pods were kind of cute and all Although I don't use black very much, I'm going to use some black spray ink here and uh, just to kind of block it off and um, kind of just reserve that area on my canvas. I'm not worried about any overspray at this point because, you know, honestly, I don't even have a plan. I'm just going with the flow in here. I'm using some gelatos, which are, you know, actually some of these are gel sticks and some are gelatos. I honestly cannot tell the difference between the two, except the gelatos have more of the trendier colors. But I mean, for the basic colors, save yourself some cash and get the gel sticks, I think. And uh, actually, I was contacted by the gelatos company and they are good people. I have nothing against their products, but they uh, they told me that that's scientists were involved and they made the gelatos better than the gel sticks but I really just think there were maybe scientists picking out fancy colors because they really feel the same to me um but you can try them out yourself and decide for yourself I have both kinds and I like them both the same I decided that I wanted to get kind of some green at the bottom so I kind of have this uh, sky and earth business happening here and I'm overlapping my colors and just trying to kind of get some funkiness there on my page there's something about a white page do you ever find that like you got a brand new book and you're looking at those white pages and it sits on your table and you're thinking what am I gonna do with this because I don't want to ruin it well sometimes you just gotta splash some ink around color some crayons and you know just get dirty and then the fun and the magic happens and you know nothing fancy I'm just scribbling a gelato and blending it with my fingers um, I wanted to kind of lock down some layers so I gave it a little spritz of hairspray because I didn't have any fixative and it's gonna work just fine I'm not worried about the acid quality in my book this is just for fun and I am using these uh, color blocks color box blends I can never say it right but um they're basically like ink pads on a stick and uh, so of course you know use your ink pad and a sponge if you want to same diff um but I was sent some of these to try out a couple months ago I think they're a really cool idea but honestly I think they're a little pricey and um I also found that they don't all work the same. Sometimes there'll be like a little nozzle poking through, which can really be troublesome when you're trying to work with stencils and it can scratch up your paper. So I think it's a cool idea. I like the concept, but the product itself fell a little short for me. But it, it is handy fun. I hope that they develop it a little bit more and come up with a better um, better thing there. And that's again, another one of the Patty Parrish stencils that I really think is fun. I can't wait to use these with a jelly plate, but I just knew today I didn't have the, uh, the mental fortitude to make it happen happen with a jelly plate. I'm just getting ready to travel, going on a trip this weekend. I'm a little nervous. I have a lot of anxiety about it. I'm worried about missing trains. I woke up in the middle of the morning while, you know, early, early morning thinking I had missed a train. It was just, you know, I'm very stressed out about this situation. So I really just needed to splash some paint around today. Do you ever get like that, guys? Maybe I'm the only one, but Maybe not. Maybe this is going to help somebody else with travel anxiety. I don't know. I'm again using the blends with less success here on this smaller stencil because it's so fine that um, that I found the big sponge very um, difficult to push the ink down through. So I'm trying to kind of uh, mash it in there with a paper towel. Oh, so uh, delicately. It wasn't a good, good, uh, it wasn't a good scene there. I kind of regret putting that down there, but I'm going to work it in. I'm going to make it happen because, you know, we don't have an undo button in real life. We just got to keep on keeping on and, and moving forward in our art because it's, you know, just a piece of paper, guys. Don't stress. It's only paper. And, you know, 
there's 600 pages here, so I don't really have to have to squander it too bad. And again, I'm coloring with my gelatos because they're fun. It's like being a kid with crayons again. And um, these seed pods, I just, you know, wanted to do the black. And for those of you that think that I am farting, I am not. It's my daughter. She's not farting, but she's on a leather chair behind me and she's squirming around in the office trying to be quiet. And it sounds like farts. So I apologize. Nobody is farting here in this video. <laughs> Are you amazing? Are you farting? <laughs> No, see, no, it's just that you might even not be able to hear that in your, uh, in the microphone, but I can hear it in my headphones, so I assume you probably can. I'm using some little Paintastics. They're these tiny little uh, paint pens by Elmer's. They don't make any anymore, which is a super bummer because they're so awesome. And I actually put some, uh, some mica powder or something glittery in there to uh, make them all shimmery when they dry. So that was kind of fun. I'm also adding any of these random colors that I'm using to the corners because um, I feel like I, it just ties the image better, it frames it. All these lovely luscious layers just make the painting sing, I think. And I'm just putting some random marks and scribbles because it's my journal and I'm gonna if I want to. You don't have to. I'm gonna. It's up to you. It's up to whoever owns it. My daughter's laughing at me. I don't know why. Um, putting some details here in the uh, the little seed pods there. I don't know what they are. They're a fanciful magical flower. Then I thought, you know what? They need some friends. I'm going to paint a few over here while I'm at it. And um, add in the same colors that I did before. I just kind of, when I'm doing an art journal page, I'm not really too worried about it. I'm just going to keep you know, adding and building and layering until I'm happy with the result. Um, the result took me longer than what I wanted to. I was going live to tape with this, but I felt a little aimless at the beginning and I was rambling about my travel anxiety. So I thought that probably not everybody needed to hear that. And I could sum that up a lot quicker if I just did a voiceover. Um, so I really liked how there were some open areas in the stencil. So I'm grabbing some colors that I felt needed a little more love and representation in my painting. And I am coloring in the open areas and then just kind of smudging it around with my finger. You could be more precise. You could use a colored pencil. I will tell you though that um, as you build up the gelatos, things don't like to stick to your paper because of that waxiness. So I do find that adding coats of hairspray or fixative will help um, will help things stick. Now I'm using my little Paintastic pen to um, to write my little quote of the day, embrace the journey, because as I mentioned before, having a little stress about the journey that I'm about to take this weekend. I'll have to let you know about it on Monday. Um, <laughs> hopefully everything goes smoothly. And uh, what I actually ended up doing was I thought, boy, I wish I had a little kind of some electric -y lines around it, but I could not get colored pencil to stick. I tried, I got a little, but, but not enough. Um, so that's what I'm trying to attempt right there. But you know it will work if you got some India ink. So that's what I ended up doing. I ended up going over my letters with India ink, but I could have even gotten a finer brush or a pen and gone in there with India ink and added some charged lines around it um, if I wanted to. But I had quite a bit of color happening right there and I was kind of worried I was going to overdo it. So I decided that just a little black frame with the ink I just used to go over my letters would, um, would do the trick. And that is the uh, first page in my new art journal. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it gives you some inspiration to do a journal page yourself and uh, if you want to check out any of the stamps or stencils I use by Patty Parrish look in the video description because I'll put a link to her our YouTube channel and shop so you can find them for yourself I want to thank you so much for watching today please give me a thumbs up and share this video with any of your art journaling friends that might find this fun uh, thanks so much for watching until next time happy crafting